Hello, once again, this is David Dolnick from Viavi Solutions. Today we're going to talk about the ONX meter and the fiber inspection capabilities of the ONX. Using either the MP60 or the MP80 and or the P5000i microscope and plugging them into the side USB ports of the ONX meter will make the word fiber tools display on the front of the ONX meter. As you can see here, both optical power meter, which is the MP60, and for further distance or greater power, the MP80, or the P5000i are both USB-based devices that can plug into the ONX meter and be utilized for fiber inspection and testing. Let's take a quick look. Here I display the MP80 plugged into the side of my ONX meter. Below that, I have a fiber jumper plugged into it. When I launch the application, I select a frequency by moving across the screen here. And here we can see I've selected 1550 for my frequency. Sliding across here can take me down to 980 or up to 1625 here on the top end. The frequency selected in your own X meter will be based upon if it's a CATV version or a VDSL version of the ONX platform. So here we're reading our level, our max, our average power, and our minimum power over here before we turn on light to our laser transmitter. Once it's turned on, we can see our maximum power level and our average over that time that we were making this measurement here. From an optical inspection standpoint, if I have low RF level into my optical test point there, it may be because I have a dirty fiber or bulkhead connector. So plugging the same fiber into the P5000i microscope and running the IEC standard test and stretching it out with, by pinching it on the screen display as the, the ONX is a tablet device, we can clearly see, based upon internationally accepted standards, which is the IEC standard listed above there, and the connection type, we inspect the end of this fiber tip over here. We can see that the core itself is clean, but there's many scratches and imperfections in the end of that tip there, which would certainly require, at minimum, cleaning and perhaps repolishing or resurfacing. So now let's look at both these applications live. So let me bring up my ONX device over here. And the first thing we'll look at is optical power. So when I press on optical power here, we'll launch the application. As my connector is already plugged in, all that's left me to do is to select a frequency to utilize for tests. As I said before, as we arrow over on the screen, we can select many different frequencies. Auto wavelengths helps me to automatically find particular wavelength. We'll choose here 1310, a typical CATV frequency used in the return path. And what we can do is we can clear, so we can reset everything, which it's already at, minus 54. Then we can shoot some light into here. And here we can see our transition in the light level over here. So the average and maximum light level, and it'll probably take a few seconds for the laser to settle down. So clearly we can see how easy it is to read different light levels at different unique frequencies. So we'll turn our laser off. Now we'll move to optical inspection. So I'll hit the back arrow screen or the home so now we hit the back arrow screen. I will then touch on fiber scope over here. And we have a fiber jumper already connected into the P5000i to the front of the unit over there. And as we plug it in, we can see our typical 200 times magnification. There is a button on the side over here that will allow me to expand it up to 400 times magnification. And then I can even do an analysis. So we press the Analyze button over here, right on the front of the screen, move it back further into the view. We'll get our pass-fail analysis. And again, by squinching on the screen, I can certainly open that back up. 
so I can get a clearer view looking deeper into the fiber edge over there. So again, nice color display on the ONX meter, simply plugging in a USB based P5000i probe over here allows me to see what's going on. And certainly clicking back to my live view, we can see we have a rather dirty fiber end over there. Well, it appears to be much cleaner there, but I'm sure if we do an analyze over here, we may get a second opinion. Yeah, so the defects, which are the physical imperfections in the end of the fiber edge over here, have not moved. And the scratches, their locations, uh, and the like have not moved. But it's really the hard perfections over here we have in the different areas listed as A, B, and D. So the core itself appears to be okay, except a minor imperfection on the outside of the core. So, But when the cladding has issues, it will not focus light back into the core, which would mean high loss on this particular fiber jumper. So that's what's going on over here. And again, the ability to look at the live view over here in either 200 or 400 times magnification. Obviously... For older eyes, it's generally easier just to blow it up. <laughs> so that's the capability we have with the ONX meter with both the P5000i microscope for looking at bulkhead connectors and fiber ends and jumpers, or utilizing the MP80 to read optical power at different test points within the network itself. Once again, my name is David Dolnick. I want to thank you again for your time today. and. We'll have more videos coming up in the very near future. Once again, thank you so much.